One important step in the regulation process of pianos is um, what's called adjusting let off. Uh, let off is um, adjust, making an adjustment to how close the hammer comes to the string before it falls back. Um, if it's too far away, you have loss of control. If it uh, comes too close and actually come, hits the string, it uh, actually blocks against the string and, and um, makes like a thudding noise. So uh, this uh, video is going to be showing you the process and procedure of, of adjusting the let off so it's at the right distance. Now here we've got a, an upright piano action um, that's been taken out of the piano. I took it out so that uh, we can show you an up-close um, video and, and uh, demonstration of how the action works. Um, now what happens is right right here, this piece right here, uh, it's got this little purple felt on it, and then down here at the bottom of it, it's got a little what's called the toe, uh, is called the jack. Okay, And what happens is, as the, as the whipping goes up, Okay, because this piece here is the whipping. Uh, as the whipping goes up, which uh, it, it gets activated by the key, um, you can see the top of the jack is pushing up uh, this piece here, which is the hammer butt. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, if we if we look up here, the top of that hammer shank goes up to the hammer. Okay, so. Going back here, um, you can see that the top of the of the jack uh, pushes up on the hammer butt, which makes the hammer go forward. Okay, so as we push it up, you'll also notice that that jack trips out. Okay, and the reason that that does that is down here, this jack, uh, the toe of the jack, gets pushed up against the bottom of this button, which has a felt regulating punching on the on the bottom of it. Okay, so um, pushing the, the hammer forward will make the jack trip out and the hammer will fall back or what's called let off. Um, now uh, the way that we adjust how close how far that hammer goes before it hits the string is by turning this regulating screw right here. Um, because what will happen is that if this regulating punch, punching is lower or higher will determine how early this jack trips out. Okay, if the, if the um, regulating button um, is lower, the, dr the jack is going to trip earlier, which is going to make, make it so the hammer doesn't get as close to the string before it lets off. If the regulating button is raised up higher, it's going to make it so that the hammer uh, gets closer to the string before it lets off. Okay, so so essentially we we'll want to get it around an eighth inch, you know, anywhere from thirteen thirty seconds to an eighth inch to the from the string before it lets off. And later in the video, I'll demonstrate showing you how to um, uh, and how to how to determine that, and we'll 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 see an example of that. Now, to to adjust this screw, we use what's called a regulating screwdriver. This is a seven, seven inch uh, regulating screwdriver. It has a slot in the end which fits um, fits over the top of this uh, of this regulating screw. Now, usually, what I'll do is come back from back behind the hammer rail and adjust it that way because it's with with the hammers and everything in the way. Um, that's really the only way to get at it. Uh, okay, now this one has is made for the combination tool handle. It's got the the end on it that fits. Um, and here we've got an example of a combination tool handle. There are different com uh, several different styles of that available. But um, uh, taking that that regulating screwdriver, you can adjust that screw up and down. Okay, so you set it over there, and by turning it clockwise it'll turn it make so the regulating screw is further down if you do it cl counterclockwise um, it'll raise that raise that uh, regulating button okay now you want to be careful um, not to put too much pressure uh, side pressure on the head of that screw because they easily uh, break off okay because uh, because of the tension um, that uh, can be put on the screwdriver so usually if w what you do is just get it over the the head of the screw and turn it. If you put it all the way down, if you get at the wrong angle, it can um, easily snap off the head of that screw, and then uh, you know, then you've got the problem of having to pull out the whole this whole rail, 
and uh, put a new screw in because uh, pretty hard to get at that with uh, with the, with the rail in the action. So, so that's the process of of adjusting that. So again, you know, it's making this button lower, higher. Again, if it's lower, it's the the hammer is going to let off sooner. If it's higher, the hammer is going to let off later. Now, some pianos don't have these large round head screws. Okay, some have a little. Uh, spade head screw which is much smaller and then you would use um, a tool like this this is a grand drop screw regulator but it also fits on those smaller um, uh, spade heads uh, spade head screws which you might find in some Asian actions um, I've seen some Kimball some newer Kimball pianos that have uh, that type of a screw so depending on which um, type of regulating screws you have there that will determine which um, which type of tool you're going to need to um, to adjust the the let off. Now in this section of the video, we're showing you um, the actual action in the piano. We've got a close up version, so you can uh, quickly see and easily see um, uh, examples of uh, hammers that are letting off too close and too far and, and just right. So <clears throat> we're going to start here with. Um, with this, uh, this is middle C here, but um, as you can see, it comes very, very close and almost, and it, it plays, but it's it's uh, too close, letting off actually too close to the string. <coughs> um, like I mentioned before, it should let off um, generally around 13, 30 seconds to an eighth of an inch away from the string. Okay, now here I've got a stainless steel rule, and I'm gonna put that up next to where the hammer is gonna hit the strings, as you can see, uh, each of those little lines is a 32nd of an inch, and so it it's less than a 32nd of an inch. So it just comes right up to that string before it lets off, which is definitely definitely too close. So in that case, you would um, you would adjust the regulating screw so that it lets off early by turning it clockwise, which would lower the regulating button so that uh, the the um, the jack engages earlier which uh, was going to make the ha a hammer let off further from the string. Now the one right next to it, okay, this, uh, I've got kind of an extreme example here, but this you can see doesn't go very far. Now let off means it goes to the string and then as it gets, as that jack trips, like we said earlier, it, the hammer falls back. Okay, and this one, it doesn't even get close to the string before it lets off. So that's if we were to put the the ruler up to that, you're looking at about uh, just just under a half inch, which is way way too far away. So again, it should be about an eighth inch uh, roughly. Um, now we're going to go over here to the the one below the middle C. This is the B, and we're going to measure that one. This one should be about right. Okay, as you can see, it gets to about an eighth of an inch. Okay, between around an eighth of an inch or 30, 13, 30 seconds. Okay, between the third and the fourth line there before it lets off. So that's right, the just about the right amount. Okay, now um, there is a tool available which we have in our online store called a magnetic let off uh, strip. Okay, and what it is, it's a, a strip of uh, magnetic material. And that can be pushed. This is an eighth of an inch thick. We also have sixteenth of an inch thick if you want to get your let off really close. But what you do is you put that uh, right up on the strings, right where the hammers are going to hit it. Okay. Now we're going to try this one that um, that is adjusted correctly. Okay. And you can see that it comes to the strip and touches it, but it can still let off. Okay. Um, so that's that's just about the right amount. If it just touches that that magnetic strip. And then lets off. Okay, the one that's too close, um, you know, I, it I have to really push on the key to make it make it let off. Okay, so that's that again is too close. And this one that's too far away, as you can see, it doesn't even make it close to the let off strip. So this is a handy tool. Um, you know, so, you know, you, you can get to where you do it visually or with the with the ruler, but this just makes the makes the job much easier using this magnetic let off strip. Um, so uh, that that's one of the f fairly simple adjustments that can be made that really helps improve uh, the efficiency and, and uh, playability of a piano in, in, in the regulating. And again, it's part of the regulating procedure.